Hi everyone, this is Allie. Guess what? I am, am finally making a fencing video. I know you guys all been waiting for it, all my two viewers. Um, I'm gonna, gonna give a shout out now to my lovely sister-in-laws and one of my best friends in the world, Michaela, and maybe Abby? I don't know if she actually watches these, but she says she does. She's never commented about them, so if she does, hello, Abby. So, back to the fencing video. Um, I'm going to take these earrings out because they're really annoying. Um, to all those misbelievers of the fact that if I fence, um, here is some physical proof. Ugh. This is my fencing back. I'm really hoping you guys can hear me because I don't think you can. And this is my fencing bag. It's absolutely huge. And I'm so glad we don't have a fencing team because I don't want to bring this to school. Like, where would I bring it? I'm betting I probably could put it in the band room, but I really don't want to go to the band room every time I need my fencing bag, you know? So this is my fencing bag. And it, the first physical proof is my fencing mask. I'll bring it close. Ah, jeez. I'll bring it closer, and I just tripped over my bag, just in case you guys were wondering. This is my fencing mask. To make it even more proof that I'm not borrowing this from someone, my name is written in the inside. Um, this is by Absolutely Absolute Fencing Gear. I did go to the fencing competition. Each fencing competition marks your mask to prove that you went there. And... That just says high school fencing. Um, it's a medium, because my head is medium sized. Um, be prepared to laugh. Yes, this is what I look like in a fencing mask, if you guys ever wanted to know. You can tell the difference of the whites. I mean, seriously. I can see you guys perfectly, though. Even though um, this mesh is really, it doesn't look very see-through, you can totally see through it. Um, yeah. Ugh. So that's my fencing mask. Um, obviously, it's to protect the face. Ugh. Here's my fencing jacket. I'm not actually going to put it on for you guys, but here it is. Um, I have no idea what size this is, and, and I think I even have the men's one, because most women's ones have pockets in the front for the cups, but this one does not. Um, here it is. The back's all scuffed up. Well, there's a couple scuffs. I got hit in the back a couple of times, and I have bruises, like, right here. But, um, yeah, it's really nice, because the back of it, it's like, what... Uh, Under Armour is made out of. So it, fencing's a hot sport. Don't get me wrong. If you've ever fenced before, you know that you sweat tons. I'm not being gross, but it's true. Um, especially with all the competition gear you have to wear. Um, just standing still, you're sweating. It's so gross, but it's so true. But this is my jacket. Um, yeah. And then there, and so there's always a crotch strap, strap, just in case you guys need to know that. Um, there's my fencing glove. It kind of looks like what iron workers work with, except this would not protect you that well. Um, yeah, it just looks like this. In the glove, there is a hole, as you guys can tell. With electric fencing, you have to wear um, a lame, which is just like a metal jacket, and then you have to wear um, wires, and the wires um, go through your whole entire sleeve and down your side, and with them, you, they go through your sleeve and into your foil. I don't have electric equipment, I just have the practice gear, so that is why I'm not going to be able to show you it, but um, all gloves have the hole, so you can easily... Um, connect to your foil without all the troubles of like it not being there and being disqualified for that prop for that. So that's my glove. Um here is my foil. You can tell it's been fenced with 
because there's a lot of scuffs on it. But this is my foil. It has a pistol grip or crystal grip. I never figured that out. But it's basically held like this. Two fingers underneath this part. Sorry. Underneath this part. And then, oh, never mind. I lied to you guys. Two fingers right here. You kind of can tell because there's indents. And then one finger right here. Oh, I keep mixing this up. Wow. I'm confusing myself. But there's two fingers under there. Two fingers under here. And then your thumb goes on the top. And if they're the right size, your finger should just brush this. This is a little too big for me because I am still going to grow. And so I don't want to buy new gear because this is really expensive. So that's my gear. Um, people have asked me, does this hurt? But just to prove it to you guys, there's a plastic tip which just leaves perfectly circled bruises. Like, I don't have any right now. I haven't fenced in a while. But um, you get literally a perfect circle. It's insane how perfect the circle is. But that's what you only get with um, foil fencing. Um, with like FA, you get huge bruises. Like I've seen pictures of them that start out like the size of a quarter, but then they spread all the way through your arm because they're so big. Well, they're not so big, they're just really heavy, so they leave a much larger bruise. And then Saber, um, they leave like slashes almost. But you don't normally get bruised by them. You um, only get bruised a lot. If it looks like I'm broken out here, I have um, the henna still on from the last video. But anyways, I'll stop wasting you guys' time, and I'll see you later.